Hey everyone, Eamon here, back for another The Acolyte Reaction. We are in episode 2, uh, and it's called Revenge Justice. Um, interesting title. I mean, yeah, so episode 1, yeah, I went in pretty pretty low expectations for episode 1, and it ended up being, yeah, I, 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 liked, it, I liked it a lot. Um, definitely some good potential for some... Uh, some cool storylines going forward. Um, yeah, so the whole the whole twin thing was really yeah. As as we watched the episode, it became more and more clear that that's what was going on. So yeah, yeah, good to see that. Um, yeah, really, really want to know like the the mystery I guess that's going on. Um, there seemed to be like some type of Sith character at the end. I don't believe it is a Sith, but it it yeah, it seemed yeah, it was cool. Anyways, um, yeah. So I, I had, had a couple questions last episode. Um, Main question I had, not really, the, well, not really the main question, but like a question I had was why the Jedi's cloaks were like beige in um in in the show in the time period, yes, because all the all the other stuff I'd seen the Jedi's were usually like in a dark brown, um and yeah, so I had a comment from Who's Thirty Fourteen who said um, during the High Republic era, Jedi wore brown cloaks for field work and white and gold cloaks for ceremony, so that's kind of I guess what why we. Uh, yeah, that explains that, I guess. Um, so that, yeah, that's cool. Um, but yeah, let's just uh, let's just hop in episode two. Um, yeah, make sure to drop a sub, drop a like, comment your thoughts in the episode. Um, yeah, yeah, let's just hop into it. Okay, let's go. Omega, local Jedi temple. <laughs> Okay, is she going for another Jedi? Hmm. Oh, jeez. Just levitating. Master Torben. Hmm. We have unfinished business. Attack me. <laughs> With all your strength. Whoa. What the? It's like a force block around him? That is sick. I've never seen anything like that in Star Wars, I don't think. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. <laughs> uh, sh she'll be helpful. Fixing up the ship. <laughs> Turn it off and on. You must be a pilot then. No, I'm a mechanic. Better company than a droid. And, um, way more flexible. <laughs> Pip is also very flexible. <laughs> 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 Even if her sister was alive, May would not have the training to defeat a Jedi Master. Twins. Osha has a twin sister. She was presumed dead 16 years ago. A suspect matching Osha's description broke into a local Jedi temple. Where? Omega. Okay, he, he knows the Jedi that's there. Go investigate. <laughs> Take Osha with you. She could be an asset. Nice, okay. Torben is on Omega. Okay. We're yeah. not escorting the prisoner back to Oja is coming with us. Yeah, so yeah, Torben must be someone that was on her planet when she was a child, potentially. Has to be, I think, actually. Hello? <laughs> this is what's his name from the good place? I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this this guy's hilarious in Good Place. Oh, I, I forget his name. He doesn't have one. He's so chill about it. Everyone has a weakness. He's impenetrable. I need you to make me a poison. Hmm. I'm running out of time. Doesn't a poison go against, like, she seems to only be... Good luck defeating a Wookiee. I have two Jedi to kill after Torben. Oh. I was gonna say, she, it seems she, she only wants to fight them if they're willing combatants as well. To, to prove a point, maybe? I don't know. I don't believe that, though. The Jedi... Justify their galactic dominance mm -hmm. in the name of peace. And peace is a lie. I know. Like every Jedi, he only thinks he's found peace. Absolution. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. It wouldn't bode well for either of us if you told him about this. Okay, so I wonder what his, yeah, what's his role in all this? He knows about her master, so. Do you believe the maze behind the Indara's murder? She must have survived somehow. What happened that night wasn't your fault, so I've told you that wasn't a very good student. Perhaps I wasn't a very good teacher. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, she's back already. Okay. They didn't think to close the roof. Someone spotted a hooded intruder and alerted me. I know why you took the mirage down. You thought this life would give you the peace you seek, but your past still haunts you. She had a hood on, but it was her. <laughs> Master Torbert hasn't spoken to anyone in over ten years. He will speak to me. I am an old friend. <laughs> I offer you a choice. Ten years, jeez. Confess your crime to the Jedi Council. Interesting. Or receive the forgiveness you seek right now from me. Interesting. So there's like, yeah. Hmm. I've been waiting for you, mate. Ooh. So maybe they did do something. Hmm. Don't get yourself in trouble. You'll look even more. Forgive me. We thought we were doing the right thing. Oh, shit. He just straight up drank. Now they're gonna walk in and they're like standing over him. Oh my god. You look so guilty he's doing that. <laughs> oh my god. Hey! Step away from the body. I know what this looks like, but I can explain. Do not move. She didn't do it. My sights were on her the entire time. Okay, good. They <laughs> not supposed to get really mad at how dumb that was. Yeah, she's really dumb for doing that. Um, like, I'm glad they wrapped up that. And... There were no signs of struggle. Mm -hmm. It took this poison willingly. This is Bunta. From my home planet. Bunta is a poison. My sister and I were taught to use it in hunting. If he's made a accomplice, we can send her in. She can talk to him. We can record and monitor the conversation. Smart. Seems like the most logical way. <laughs> Amen. She needs an outfit, though. <laughs> They're making you your to just be a complete idiot. It's pretty funny. Oja knows how to use one of these. Oh, okay, she found one. It's not quite the outfit though. Nice. Right, yeah, it looks closer. Hello. Oh. Hi. Hi. That's not the best undercover work there. Did the poison work? That's it, that's all we need. Let's pull her up. Wait! Who killed Torben without the poison? He will be so pleased. You look exactly like her. Uh oh. Whoa, 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 wait. Where's May? Hold on, hold on. We know you supplied May with the poison that killed Master Torben. Don't do the memory wipe thing or whatever it is you guys do. <laughs> Who is he? Uh, I, I, I thought he was with you. <laughs> oh my god. Well, they have a master. Is someone training her? All I know is that she wants revenge on four Jedi. She'll be back here tonight. I'm holding some things for her. Okay, so there definitely seems to be some truth to like, like something, like the, the Jedi did something weird and covered it up. That seems to be like a thing that actually did occur. Um, so yeah, curious to see what happened there. Um, if that guy w Anybody willingly took the poison, like, he, that is him admitting, right? Not yet. He wouldn't, uh, or he blames himself, I'm at least, for what happened. This. We both knew this is where this trip was headed. I didn't know you were still so angry. She killed my family. She destroyed my life. Mm. I need your permission to go out there and confront her. I deserve justice. You want revenge. I couldn't save her when you were children. Let me try now. Yeah, is it, is it possible, like... She wants to kill four Jedi, stationed on Brendock 16 years ago. Yeah, he would be one of them, right? Yeah. Kelnaka and you. She wants to kill you. 
have faith in me. Mm. Yeah, is it possible like they blamed me because she she died, or they assumed she died, so she just they just made up a story that she started a fire and killed her family. Like yeah, that that seems to be yeah, that's where we're headed. It seems like, but it can't be that simple, right? I see her. Hey. You survived. You killed Indara. Toby. You attack me without a weapon. Why? Oh, she still. He took them all? <laughs> Your master has failed you. Tell me, who trained you? Yeah, I really want to know. Why is he using those binoculars from like 10 feet away? <laughs> oh, he looked way closer from that. Jeez, okay. Soul is very powerful. See, your master has taken great pains to hide his identity, even from you. You could have known who he is, even if you wanted to. Interesting. Get out of my head, Jedi. Uh oh. Your thoughts still go to your sister. My sister is dead! Osha is alive. You lie! <laughs> Mm. Nice. Okay. So her master like told a different story. Maybe each each sister has has was told the story from the from the, the wrong story. You are under arrest. <laughs> what is she about to do? Jeez. Straight up pocket sand. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't bring her out. They should have brought her out. <laughs> Come on now. There you go. Oh she? <laughs> oh shit. Oh. She missed. Come on. <laughs> Interesting. With respect, we don't have time for talks, Master Balestra. But we know where she's going next. We must we move. We don't make decisions like this without meaningful discussion, oh Soul. You can discuss this, like, on the phone. <laughs> like, come on. You're just gonna let the next guy die? You sold me up to the Jedi. They're right up there. I can <laughs> make it up to you. I can get us out of this city. What the hell is Kofar? A relaxing forest retreat in the Outer Rim. Where the Wookiee Jedi lives. Oh, there's a Wookiee Jedi. You found Kalnaka. Kalnaka, okay. Kofar, okay. I don't think I've ever seen a Wookiee Jedi. This will be interesting. That would be, uh, like, <laughs> extremely hard to defeat in battle. Oh my god. The Brotu Pampa. Jeseta, La Doma, Toma, Moda, on Tapu Pupach. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's pretty sick. <laughs> Jeez. All right, well, that's the end. Okay. All right, so that was episode two of The Acolyte. Uh, shorter episode than I thought. I guess that was, yeah, I guess not every episode can be, like, super long. Um, yeah, yeah, short episode. Okay, so, the, yeah, that was a cool one. We saw, we, yeah, we learned a lot from that one. Um, we saw there's four, four Jedi that uh, may seems to, like, blame for what happened to her as a child um we learned that she did she wasn't aware that her sister survived um which is kind of like the opposite of, of osha right uh osha thought her sister died yeah so they, they each thought each, each other was dead which is interesting um i guess you could kind of go with like yeah like osha osha was like saved by the jedi and then uh, May was saved by this like Sith uh, Dark Force user type uh, person, and both were maybe sort of made to forget or made to, um, 
like accept that their sister was, was wasn't alive anymore um you could you could maybe go that route um but yeah so uh, master torben he was the first one that we saw that seemed to actually be like it seemed to actually hint that like the jedi did do something wrong because he yeah he went into didn't speak for like 10 years they said and he seemed to just like meditate all day um and then willingly took a poison and and, and died like immediately after seeing her so that to me implies that yeah I mean, it doesn't imply it, like, pretty much straight up says that, like, they did something wrong, or he did at least, that resulted in a family dying. Um, yeah, so that, that'll that be interesting to learn more about. Um, yeah, and then, so yeah, we learned about a Wookiee Jedi, too, which I, yeah, never, never once considered that that was even a thing. So that's cool. Uh, Kelneka, is that, that what the name was? Kelneka, uh, Wookiee Jedi. Uh, he also seems to be living in, like, Sort of like Torben, where they're just like he's in. He, he seems to be like an exile almost. Um, Tor Torben wasn't in exile, but like he was in exile in his own thoughts. I guess is kind of yeah. So that's interesting. Um, yeah, excited to see his storyline. Um, if we get a battle too with him, that would be pretty sick. He might he might be uh, yeah like a Wookiee Jedi. That that is unreal. Like a Force using Wookiee. <laughs> I need to see him with a lightsaber too. That'd be awesome. Um, actually, it could be a yeah yeah. It, it could be a female Wookiee actually too. I don't, we don't we don't know yet so yeah that'd be cool either way that'd be cool um yeah and then uh yeah so inara and soul they were the only two that seem like like inara didn't seem um like nothing about her seemed to imply that she was like bad or did something wrong same with soul so soul or maybe a little bit with soul he, he kind of seems like he seems like he's filled with like regrets almost um, and he also had like a special connection with with uh, with Osha, so that maybe is kind of tied to what happened when they were kids. I don't know, I don't know. Still lots of lots to uncover. There's I can't yeah. There's not enough info presented right now to really come up with something. I don't think, it, unless like it's unless it's like the the obvious, which is just like the Jedi messed up and like blamed uh, Osha or blamed May on it. But I feel like that's too simple of a of an explanation for for a show that's like eight episodes or whatever. Like it's yeah it's not going to be the the most obvious thing right like right away so we'll see how that goes um yeah yeah anything else i need to really touch on um no yeah i'm, I'm still enjoying it episode two is good I, I really do not understand what these uh um like what the why everyone was freaking out like i, I know like, all the review bombing and stuff was happening like the first couple episodes and i watched them both and i'm like what like what is this like people were screaming about the show being woke and stuff I'm like what are you talking about i'm so confused there's like nothing <laughs> nothing is like i don't know cra crazy stuff people people are so weird i don't know um yeah yeah it's been good there's yeah I don't know that's that's about, that's about it uh, excited for episode three uh, i'm gonna try to get these out every few days just so i can, can get caught up with the show and hopefully be caught up for the last episode or two um yeah yeah good stuff uh thanks for watching with me if you did uh thanks to those of you that watched episode one with me uh had, had a couple comments that were pretty nice so that's good um yeah yeah hope you stick around for episode three and yeah sub like like the video comment your thoughts all that good stuff um yeah have a good one.